Today I'm going to talk about pregnancy and diabetes. What happens in pregnancy? There are certain enzymes or hormones which goes up during pregnancy which causes the sugars to go up in the mother. So when the sugars go up in the mother, the baby also receives this blood glucose level. It loses it and becomes big in size. It causes complications during delivery and after delivery. So to prevent this, we have various medications. Usually preferred one is insulin. In gestational diabetes, develops around 7 months of gestation and after pregnancy, it majority of the times it subsides. So it is a warning given by the body to the patient that you are at a risk of developing diabetes in the future. So these patients need to do good diet and exercise either in the form of risk calorie restriction or exercise like this walking around 30 minutes per day. If the sugars are not controlled with these two medicines, we may have to go for medications. Today, I am going to talk about simple things regarding diabetes. First question everybody asks is what is diabetes? As we all know, diabetes is a condition where diabetes blood sugar levels in the body goes on increasing. Normal levels are if the before food less than 100 and after food less than 140 we take it as normal. Anything more than 126 in the fasting state and more than 200 after food we take as diabetes. Any values in between this is considered as pre-diabetes. Next question what usually asked by patients is, is diabetes is hereditary? There are two types, one is type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. What happens is when the parents are diabetic, the chance of children getting diabetes at an early age increases. But it doesn't mean that if parents develop, develop diabetes, all their children are going to develop diabetes in the future. Can be classified into acute and chronic. Acute are usually in the form of cell infection, or sometimes in type 1 diabetes develops something called as DKA, where patients may come with very high blood sugars with severe dehydration and increase in the acidic levels in the blood. Chronic complications are usually in the form of uh, small vessel complications like retinopathy affecting the eye, neuropathy affecting the nerves, and nephropathy affecting the kidney. And major complications with diabetes are cardiovascular disorders, either in the form of myocardial infarction that is called as heart attack, stroke or peripheral vascular disease usually presenting as gangrene of the foot. All these complications can be easily prevented if you control the blood sugar levels within a normal range, either with the help of diet, exercise or medicines. What happens if you don't control the blood glucose levels? Immediately patients may not develop any complications, but over a period of time the risk of developing this complication goes on increasing. Today we are going to discuss about hypoglycemia. What is hypoglycemia? Whenever the blood glucose level goes below less than 70 mm Hg, level 70 mm of mercury is called hypoglycemia. So a patient may develop various symptoms. Depending on the patient, symptoms differ. Some patient develops only sweating, some patients may develop palpitations, uh, anxiety symptoms. But when the sugars come down less than 55, patient may lose consciousness. If we don't treat during this time, again glucose level comes low then the patient may develop seizures, like this convulsions also. So how to treat? Emergency basis, you can keep something called hypotab tablet, that is a dextrose tablet, which comes as a tablet form. Whenever you develop these symptoms, take one tablet and check your sugars again after 10 minutes. If the sugars doesn't improve, you can increase the number of tablets. After 10-15 minutes, you have to take something which contains the carbohydrates to meet the ongoing blood glucose level requirement. 